Hashtags is the new rage in Instagram marketing. In this video, I will tell you how to find hashtags for Insta. Hey, I am Seema Gupta, Professor of Digital Marketing at IIM Bangalore. Instagram witnesses a total of 95 million photos and videos every single day. Wondering how among so many posts will your post survive? Don't get overwhelmed by the numbers as these can easily be turned in your favor with the help of Insta hashtags. You must be thinking, really? How is a string of few catchy words with a hash symbol going to save my business? More than 70% of consumers are motivated to explore new content when hashtags are present. Hashtags are used to filter your content. Every hashtag acts as a directory for all posts that uses that hashtag. Post with at least one hashtag averages 12.6% more engagement than those without. Now what are the types of hashtags that you should use? And here is my tip. Number one is brand hashtags. These are the hashtags that help in promoting the image of the brand or its tagline. They are mostly used to promote the unique traits of the brand that makes them stand apart from their competitors. Number two is audience descriptive hashtags. These hashtags are used by defining the type of audience in the hashtag. For example, fitness freaks, health, fitness goals, gym can be used by a health supplement company to reach out to audience who likes to work out or likes to hit the gym. Another type of hashtag is product descriptive hashtags. These hashtags promote a particular product. Brands can encourage the customers to post their pictures using that product. For example, hashtag MyCalvins encouraging people to post their pictures with Calvin Klein products. There should be some kind of incentive for people to post their pictures using your hashtag. Incentives can be social recognition by the brand when a brand shares their post on their social account or it can be some additional discount for next purchase or evoking of emotion. Or you can use location hashtags. These are extremely beneficial if you are trying to attract customers to your local store. For example, a barber in Mumbai can give an extra 10% discount on the customer's next haircut if the customer post a picture of themselves with the new haircut using location hashtag. Research shows that post with location tag gets 79% higher engagement than those without a geographical tag. You can also use event hashtags. These hashtags are used to create social hype about a particular event. For example, a TEDx event in Chandigarh can encourage people to guess the guest speaker of the event and use the hashtag TEDx Chandigarh. And if they get it right, they can be given a free ticket to their next TEDx event. You can also use lifestyle hashtags. These kind of hashtags are used to promote your brand's product by bringing a change in your customer's lifestyle. For example, use of Hashtag Swatch Bharat by the Indian government to promote the sharing of pictures of places that aren't clean. You can also use content hashtag. These are hashtags that are related to your content and these will improve the SEO of your post. It is essential to use the hashtags related to your content so that it reaches the right audience. Now. I will share with you some tips and strategies to deploy for hashtag marketing. You will always be tempted to use the most popular hashtag. That is when you need to take a step back. Realize that the more hashtag is popular, more it is going to be used and lesser will be the time for which your post will remain on top of the search. Suppose you use the hashtag love. This hashtag leads back to 1.2 billion posts. 
So it is all about finding the right balance between popular hashtags and danger of being crowded out of high demand topics. It will be as difficult to read long hashtags as it will be to read the long hashtag, don't use the long hashtags. Now your hashtag will only be used by other people if it is short, simple and catchy. Hashtags that are too long or more prone to misunderstanding and that can put the brand in really embarrassing positions. You can use holiday hashtags. Everyone has some emotional bonding for some holiday. It's a good strategy to use these holidays to promote your brand. The idea behind this strategy is to attach your brand with a holiday. For example, Cadbury chocolates in Valentine week or Maniavar is using the hashtag and promoting content using Indian ethnic wear during festivals and weddings. So it's a wonderful way of getting the people to have some emotional bonding with Maniavar as they have with festivals, weddings and ethnic wear. It's important to use your hashtags cleverly. Ever get frustrated to see a post with small caption and tons of hashtags? These kinds of posts feel too aggressive and desperate. It's an art to use hashtag and also not seem too aggressive. One of the ways is to put a few dots in the next five to six lines of a caption and then put the hashtag. This puts the read more option and the viewer only sees the caption. Another way is to put the hashtags in the comment section. Note, Instagram allows only 30 hashtags in a post. This includes hashtags in comments as well. You can also put hashtags in stories. All you need to do is write the hashtag on the pic with the text option. Instagram puts a limit of 10 hashtags per story. You can also put hashtags in your Instagram bio to promote what you do. And you should avoid using hashtags follow for follow, like for like. They look insensitive and show desperation. Avoid taking chances that you may regret. A marketer needs to understand what the social and moral stance of their brand are. You don't want to post content that contradicts anything that your brand stands for. These events can put the brand in very problematic situation and make the brand look inauthentic. For example, McDonald's was trolled when they tried to spread awareness amongst people of the ill effects of eating junk food. Also, you must avoid getting shadow banned. An Instagram shadow ban is when your hashtags can only be seen by the people who follow you. Your post can't be seen when the hashtag is searched. How to know whether you are shadow banned or not? It's simple. Ask someone who doesn't follow you to search for your post in the feed of the hashtag. If your post is not there, there could be a chance that you are shadow banned. Shadow banning is done by Instagram due to multiple reasons like the use of bots to increase followers use of same hashtags for months or use of broken hashtags. You should also post at your best times to make your move when it will make the strongest impact. It is best to know when your post receives maximum attention from your audience. For everyone using business profile, which you should if you aren't, go to insights and then the audience to know when your post is seen the most. Try posting 5 minutes before that time and engage with your users 10 minutes before posting to boost your profile traffic. People might use your hashtags to ask you questions about your brand. It is crucial to reply to them as soon as possible. Unattended questions can make the brand look sensitive. If you follow these tips, your hashtag marketing will skyrocket. Do like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also check out profseema.com. Thank you for watching.